Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sneha and today I'm going to share my favorite lip brushes. I know when it comes to lip brushes as a consumer, we don't think much. We just apply straight from the bullet or we apply liquid lipsticks with the wand that it comes with and similarly for gloss as well. But as a makeup artist, I have a new appreciation for good quality lip brushes because if you've ever tried applying lipstick on someone else, you know how challenging it can be, especially if you don't have the right tools. It's almost as difficult as applying a wing liner on someone else, especially if you're using a lipstick that's red or deeper tones like burgundy or even black for that matter. And to top that, the client may not be steady. They may be talking or they may be making movements in their, on their lips while you're applying the lipstick that they don't really realize that it's happening. It's subconscious. So... That also adds an additional layer of challenge when applying lipsticks. So having a good lip brush definitely is very important for getting a good precise lip application. You cannot use a brush that kind of splays out that really ruins lipstick application. So I have five picks for my favorite lip brushes. So let's get started. So just as an example of what we don't want a lip brush to look like is this lip brush. I do love Real Techniques brushes in general, but this one just doesn't do it. Do you see how much it flares out? That can completely ruin a lipstick application. So the first brush that I really love is the Charlotte Tilbury lip brush. So it looks like this up close. It's a squared off brush. So that means that it's really good to apply lipstick to the Cupid's bow, especially if you want the really sharp pointed Cupid's bow kind of a look where it looks like two mountains. This is perfect because you can literally go, I don't want to touch it, but like this and like this, and that should give you the sharp edges on both the sides. This brush is also great for cleaning up lipstick application. So you can pop on a little bit of concealer right at the edge and go along the sides of the lip to create a really clean line. This is especially important again when you use pigmented colored lipsticks, not so important for nude lipsticks. This brush retails for 18 pounds and it's also cruelty free and vegan. Next up, I have this brush 3.1 from my Kitco. And this is what it looks like up close. So as you can see from the side, it's really thin. And then it has this beautiful slope on the side. This is a natural hair brush, but they do say on their website that it's a byproduct of animal farming. So depending on what your cruelty free status is, you can decide for yourself. So again, this is beautiful when you want the Cupid's bow to be uh, rounder, which is my personal preference. So you can just place the tip right there and go on this side and then on this side. Also, this pointed end on one side is good to get to the corners of the lips. So it's a really well-rounded brush. And I particularly prefer this size when I'm working with someone with medium to fuller lips. Next up is one of my multi-purpose brush. This is the Esam W19, and this is what it looks like. It's fatter than the My Kitco brush, but smaller. And it comes to a nice tip right there. Now this is called the Filbert Lip Brush, and it retails for $18 in the US or 15 pounds here in the UK. It's made of sable hair, and each brush is handmade. I love this brush, especially when my client has thinner lips. This is the brush of choice because it can get to the corners and you can also use it on the side if they have particularly thin lips. So another beautiful brush. The next brush is from Smith Cosmetics. This should come as no surprise. This is brush number 302. It looks quite similar to the My Kit Co brush, as you can see here. But the bristles on the Smith Cosmetics brush are shorter and also wider. So again, it's a brush that I prefer for my clients that have medium to fuller lips. This brush retails for $21 in the US or £17 here in the UK. And it's made up of synthetic sable hair, so it is cruelty free. Again, as with the My Kitco brush, the curve on the lip is really easy to create a rounded lip shape. And the tip here allows you to go into the corners. It's just overall a very good lip brush. And at number one, I have my favorite brush, which is the London Brush Company Classic Number no. 4 brush. This is what that looks like up close. So the bristles of this brush are longer than what the other brushes have, 
but it comes to a really nice fine tip, which is what I appreciate about this brush. The bristles are so soft and they pick up a good amount of product and the application is easy. Now with this brush, I can use it on someone with a smaller lip, a medium sized lip, or even a person with a fuller lip, just because I can change as I'm going on the side, I can get a small, smaller surface area of application. And if I turn it on its full side, then the application is easier on wider lips, I guess. Again, I just love how smoothly it glides on the lips and it just makes the application very easy. So this is my number one choice. If I had to choose just one lip brush amongst all my favorite lip brushes, this would be it. This brush retails for £20 here in the UK. I'm not sure if it's available in the US, but I did pick it up at iMats London. So check out during iMats. I'm sure Sean Richards, who is the owner of London Brush Company, she does travel to the US as well. So hopefully you should be having access to these brushes. Now this brush is made up of pure European sable hair. Depending on how you view the sourcing of the animal hair as cruelty free, this brush may or may not be under cruelty free for you. Now with all these brands, don't forget to check out their pro discount. And all the brushes I've mentioned except the London Brush Company have a free pro membership, so it's really easy. Just fill out the form, submit your documents, and it should be fairly smooth. But with the London Brush Company, you do have to pay, I believe, a yearly membership if you want the discount, or you can get the discount at IMATS. That's what I did. Now, cleaning lip brushes can be quite challenging because there's so many waxes, emollients, and gloss, and all of that that gets into these bristles. So it's really important to get everything out. The first thing I would advise is to really break down the lipstick or the lip product that you have in your brush. So you could use the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. So dip it into that, clean it on a tissue till you get it completely clean and then go for a deep cleaning. Or the other method where I feel like some lipsticks can be very stubborn to come off or if they stain the bristles, then you could dip the bristles in some little bit of olive oil or coconut oil that you have. And the oil really helps in breaking down the lip product. And then you can continue it with the deep washing, which is with soap, liquid, or the solid version. So that's how I clean my lip brushes. And I do reshape them once they are cleaned. And with these five brushes that I've shown you, they definitely come back to shape. So I haven't had the need to use any brush covers with them particularly. That's an added bonus. If you have good quality lip brushes, you can avoid that purchase. And in case you're curious, on my lips is the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon lipstick. And I've just blotted it off a couple of times so it's more like a stain. On my eyes, I have the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. This is in the shade Primary Yellow. And this is what you see predominantly on the eyelid. I have no primer underneath, so it's just that product. And then through my crease, I added a little bit of the shade, which is Carnelian, right through my crease right there. Again, there's no primer underneath. And I will be doing a similar series with my favorite eye brushes and my face brushes. I'm only waiting for some brushes that I've ordered, which will arrive next month, and I do want to test them out before I do a rounded video. So maybe expect some more favorite brushes videos around November, December. If you are interested in these favorite videos, definitely leave me a comment. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and that these recommendations were helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.